Hi, this is Sandy Warren. Wellness with Attitude, Collaborative Coaching to Navigate the Curves of Life. I've had a few curves in my life in this past eight or 10 days have brought me to some personal curves, drawn me um, to be there for family and away from the business. Not entirely, but quite a lot. So the first thing I want to say to you is this is for Thoughtful Thursday. My commitment to stay in touch with you. However, it's Saturday. So sometimes we need to cut ourselves a little bit of slack. And this was the time that I needed to do that. I was needed elsewhere on Thursday. And as I approached this day, I thought, well, maybe I'll just wait till next Thursday. And then I remembered my word for January, resolve. I have resolved to stay committed to myself, my goals, my mission, my purpose, my agenda, and not in a selfish way, but in a way that I've chosen to share myself and the gifts that I have and to be grateful for all that I have. So forgive me for not being here Thursday, but please accept the gift that I hope I bring to you today. And my word, resolve, brings me to thinking about life, to live our best life. And I wonder what that means to you. I'm going to give you a few thoughts that might trigger some uh, either insights or introspection, whichever way it might uh, tap into you. So I'm going to use a couple of words. Number one, our experiences are usually what offer us the, the best of life. They're the times that we laugh, we cry, we connect. So experiences, not things, usually are really, really the bottom line of what uh, brings us the, the best of our life. So when you think about living your best life, think about your mind because you, fear and gratitude cannot live in the same space in your mind. And during these pretty tumultuous times, I think we have to step away from the fear. We have to step away from the drama. We need to make choices not in relationship to the fear, but in relationship to the gratitude, in relationship to the things that fill us and that give us this best life. So when we think about our body, you know, January is a great time to say, I'm going to lose 20 pounds. I'm going to get out and walk every day. I'm going to get on the treadmill or the elliptical machine. Oh, I'm not going to eat any more cookies. I'm done with the cookies. I had enough over the holidays. And I think alcohol has got to go too. Um, I think I'm going to eat more carrots and beets and greens. And oh, the water, I'm absolutely going to drink, you know, 60 ounces of water every day. So, oh my, we can go down a whole laundry list and then by um, February 10th, um, that those resolutions are history. We didn't write them down or if we did write them down, we can't find the paper. And if we can find the paper, we've already torn it up by now. So thinking about your mind, your body, as we talked about, what, what do you want for your body? I'm going to make a suggestion that it's not about all the resolutions we can make about it, but it's, do you want to be stagnant? What a nasty word. Maybe you have a better word that would go into your head and say, mm, that's not me, I don't want that. Or do you want movement? Do you want vitality? So when you think about your body, what is it that you want to bring into your body? The other thing that leads you into what is the best in your life is relationships. Now you may be in a very loving relationship with a husband or a wife or a partner. You may not be, and that may be perfectly fine. I spent, I spent 20 years 
without, I'm sorry, I spent 20 years being not in a relationship and being very happy about that. I was raising two kids. I was doing it on my own, my own way. And, and that was good. But I had relationship with my children. I had relationship with my friends. So these are different kinds of relationships. And so I, what I want to ask you to, today is what relationships serve you? What relationships fill you? What brings you happiness, contentment? Maybe it's a cat that snuggles up next to you. Some of us, I think, have dogs because they're so faithful to us. And they get us out moving as well. So maybe there's a double there for the body and the relationship. And then when you're outdoors in nature, that helps your mind. So a lot of these things just work together. They layer up on top of one another. But I'm going to throw another one in here for you. So thinking about your best life, what's your purpose? Maybe you know, maybe you're searching, maybe it's change. Seasons in our lives do make those things change. So is it knowing your purpose, having already written it down and being on the path, or are you caught in that what you're supposed to do, what you're supposed to um, provide, who you're supposed to show up for, what job are you supposed to do because it pays the bills? So see if you can find your space, maybe between the knowing and the supposed to. And it may not be instantaneous that you can fix that. It might take some time. But it begins with you imagining your best life. And then perhaps you journal about it, or you meditate about it, or you build a dream board about it or you talk about it, but it's many steps that help you to, to be on your journey for your best life. So as I sat down to kind of think about what I wanted to share with you today, I pulled out um, a beautiful book and you know how you have things around and they've been around for so long that you don't really notice them anymore. This book is on daily gratitude and the pictures are beautiful. Um, and, and it just is really just such a a nice book and it's done by National Geographic. So I opened it up to a couple days ago um, and January 14th says, the privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. And there's a picture of a starfish here, which is pretty funny. Maybe if you tune in on another Thoughtful Thursday, I'll share my, my uh, story about a starfish with you. So I thought it was pretty appropriate that it had a starfish on that day. And January 15th says somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. Isn't that exciting? Because the mind wants to keep learning and experiencing. And your soul will bring you to what you need. So here's today, January 16th. As I was preparing and thinking, what do I want to share today? My word is resolved. What do I want to share? What is maybe a helpful message? And there were a lot of things going through my mind. And here I laughed when I read this one because it is absolutely so true. Ideas are like rabbits. You get a couple and then you learn how to handle them. And pretty soon you have a dozen. That was a quote from John Steinbeck. Did you guys all have to read John Steinbeck? That was years ago. So I hope that today has brought you a smile. I hope it's brought you maybe a little bit of um, introspection, thoughts about your purpose. If it's just simply that you look at yourself and say, I am not going to act out of fear. I'm acting out of gratitude. I'm not going to be stagnant in my body. I'm going to have movement and vitality in my body. My relationships I'm going to treasure. I'm going to prioritize and make time for. And I'll tell you a little secret. When I got to this point of making a note, I realized that, gee, my relationships are really important to me. And I had told my family that I was going to start a little, um, let's do some art 
and share it once a month. And I haven't done that yet. And I want to do that. I've got some preparation done. And I thought, I'm not going to do Thoughtful Thursday. I'm going to go and do this because I want to get this out to my family. And then I had to stop and think about my word resolve. And as important as my family is to me, and as important as those four grandchildren are to me, I needed to do this because this is my commitment to my Thoughtful Thursdays and to keep me on track for what's important to me to live my best life. And when I live my best life, then I can be here for my family and play full out. So have a great day. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for sharing your time with me. I'm signing off, Sandy Warren. And remember, you too can navigate the curves of life. If you need any help, I'd be, a, I'd be happy to be a collaborative partner with you. Have a great day.